Good morning. It's good to have you with us this morning. If you look down in the corner over here, you will see that I have a friend sitting here with me. This is Miss Krista. This is our oldest cat. She's somewhere between 13 and 14 years old. Uh, but she's up here for devotions this morning. And uh, thankful that we can come to you. Thinking of thankfulness, we get into the Thanksgiving season. Just how thankful are we with what we have and what God has provided? In Psalms 107, uh, it says this, O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the redeemed of God say so, whom he has redeemed from the land of the in, hand of the enemy, and gathered out of the lands from the east and from the west and from the north and from the south. They wandered in the wilderness in a desolate way. They found no city to dwell in. Hungry and thirsty, their, faint, their soul fainted in them. Then they cried out to the Lord in their trouble, and he delivered them out of their distress. And he led them forth by the right way, that they might go to a city for a dwelling place. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. For he satisfies the longing soul, and fills the hungry soul with goodness. I found an illustration I thought was pretty applicable to this. It was written by uh, Gregory Jantz in his book, Becoming Strong Again, it's entitled Thankfulness, a very short gripe session. A party of pioneers on the Oregon Trail suffered for weeks from a uh, scarcity of water and grass for their animals. <clears throat> Most of the drag uh, wagons were broken down, causing the endless delays in the stifling heat. A feeling of fretfulness and futility prevailed. Optimism and cheer were gone. Courage was in limited supply. One night, the leaders called a meeting to air complaints. When they gathered around the campfire, one man stood up and said, Before we commence our, gripe, our grief session, don't you think we at least ought to give thanks to God that he has brought us this far with no loss of life, with no serious trouble with the Indians, and then we have enough strength left to finish our journey? The other settlers agreed. After the brief prayer, all that could be heard were the cries of a distant pack of wolves. There was otherwise stone silence around the campfire, because no one had any grievances they felt were important enough to voice. They suddenly realized if they couldn't be satisfied with what they'd received, they could at least be thankful for what they'd escaped. Thankfulness enabled them to see the mercies of God they had been overlooking. And we've been overlooking those mercies of God that he's given to us. Isn't it time that we turn to him and give him thanks for what we have and for who we are and for our safety? You know, God's still in control, folks, and prayer changes things. Have a great weekend. We'll see you again Monday. God bless you.